Today we're here with Anu. Uh, Anu runs a, a PPC uh, agency of yes. sorts uh, as a consultant right now and she's currently working in the same place that I'm working at yeah. uh, in Ox's Circus. I've never seen anything like this Never seen anything like this No, no Never seen I'd like to just start out by getting her to introduce herself uh, and introduce what you do. I've been in the digital industry for just over 10 years now. Um, mm. I started with working in search engine optimization, which is basically trying to get your website on the first page of Google. So that it's always people, a tough one. It's a tough but one. We're always trying to. Yeah, you know, and that's trying to do it organically and. Mm. Um, after about six months of doing it with a company, I was like, this is a little bit slow. And it was very sales pitchy back then. Yeah. When I started, it was about qu calling site administrators and be like, hi, you web know. Masters. Yeah, exactly. Webmasters. Bring it you know, Yeah, let's bring it back. I used to always call myself a webmaster. <laughs> <Right, is it? laughs> that does sound much more like, you know, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I was doing it quite well. And because it was a lot of like link building in a very salesy kind of way, mm. I didn't like that and I, I'm someone that always liked data analysis and working in Microsoft Excel mm. especially. So um, yeah, I got an interview to do PPC which is about driving clicks to your website but not organically, you actually pay Google on an auction basis mm. um, to show the top pages and there are different you know, qualities that Google take into consideration yeah. as to whether you show top pages or not but if you have enough money and you meet some like basic quality checks mm. you can show on the, on the top page straight away if someone searches for a product that is relevant to um, or your website sells. So yeah, and um, you know, it, it, I think that the interview they were like, "Oh, do you like Microsoft Excel?" I was like, "Do I?" <laughs> like literally, like, that was it. You I should was have sold. a T-shirt that says like, "I love Excel." I something. really should. And if they I don't do produce should, them, you should produce. I should produce them. something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of designs right now, of, like <laughs> something like you know, um, you know that whole. Um, what you call it? Keep calm. Yeah. That kind of thing. Keep calm and be look up. That's a popular Excel formula. Is that T-shirt out there yet? Oh, I don't think so. Like, yeah. Well, oh, first. if you yeah. heard it first, no one steal it. We'll it's be mine. Able to produce the T-shirts. Yeah, we the go. Exactly. <laughs> right. That we call. Um. So yeah, I've been doing PPC advertising because I love that like, with the data analysis you can see the immediate results mm. of you know. A click someone, um, your ad showing, someone clicking through your website, yeah. buying a product, tying that in with, you know, all the relevancy of making sure that we are bidding on the right terms. Mm -hmm. We are not, you know, doing any like, wasted, we're not having any wasted clicks, cutting all that. So yeah. we do all that analysis to make sure that, you know, that path to purchase from search to um, the product mm -hmm. is very efficient and very um, high in return in investment season. Right. Yeah. So what would you say are your like were the biggest challenges kind of getting set up as a business or as a contractor? Setting up as a contractor at the beginning it was um just knowing who to contact, mm. knowing knowing how to go about it. Yeah. And I think that's that's one of the things that, you know, sets a lot of fear in people. It's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Where's my source of income going to come from? Yeah. You know, how about if I have a two-month contract, there's nothing, you know, after that. You know, those are like, those are real challenges for me. I have rent to pay, bills to pay, you know, I'm a grown woman. I don't live with my mom and dad yeah. anymore, you know. It's nothing all to fall me. back on me. Nothing yeah. to fall back on I me. Mean, my friends live in Nigeria, mm. you know, because couldn't be well, just a home. Well, you work from there. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's the same time zone as the UK, <laughs> it so it's is. not too bad. I always um, tell the people that it was very much like a swan. You're graceful up top, you're kicking like crazy. Oh, kicking like crazy. And it yeah. fits really well with mine swan, is yeah. your company name yeah. as well. But not that you are kicking like crazy underneath, but sometimes life can be a bit like that as a yeah. company or a yeah. company. Yeah, yeah, it can be definitely. I mean, um, yeah, at the beginning it was a lot of kicking like crazy. Now I just try to have a lot of faith, not a lot, mm -hmm. not panic too much when things are not working as fast as in my head I think it should be. We should be working. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just giving myself a break. Sometimes I am one person. I am I'm, I'm one person. I can't. Yeah. I can't get all things done. And you see some companies who have grown so quick, so fast. They probably had a lot more people working together on that idea yeah. so the smaller um the smaller team that you are you know the slower things will go and sometimes it's all about slow and steady mm. you know as long as you're consistent and as long as you don't give up and you know why you're doing what you're doing yeah i say keep going 
And awesome. that's what's kept me going. Yeah. Mm. Positivity, basically, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what about the, the low moments? Now, you might not want to say any. But <laughs> like, what are the kind of the the hard, like really hard, like low moments of contracting or, or running a business? Well, yeah, I wouldn't lie. There have been moments where a contract has ended and not one hasn't kind of lined up quite smoothly. Yeah, that's right back, after. back to nature. Yes, that's back yeah. to like nature that we're used to, you know, always knowing what we're going to be doing the next Monday mm. morning. There have been days of like, I've had a lull and there was actually a time and it was, this was something about having a leap of faith Mm. Uh, put, give yourself a leap of faith and because there was there was a role that had come through just before a contract was ending but it was at a pay grade that was well below what I knew yeah. my level was and I was thinking oh maybe I should take it maybe I should take it and I spoke to my dad spoke to a few mentors and they were like and is that really what you're going to be doing is that really where you want your, uh, your direction to be and they were like yeah. and I was like I knew straight away no there was answers no <laughs> I was like maybe I'm just checking I'm just checking I'm checking and you know it was it's it's one of those things where like yeah it, it was i took the leap of faith to say okay no i'm gonna take that role as right and still wait mm. for the right thing to come along and not too long after that the right thing did, did come along and yeah. you know it took about four weeks of me sitting around in the grand scheme of things that's that's nothing but you know yeah. When I you're going through that day, yeah, there like, we go. Really you know how you feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those you're like things. a swan every day. Every day. Like crazy. Yes, yeah. yes. And you're like, what can I do? What can I do about, okay, at least let's work on mine. So on the website, ideas, maybe blogs. Yeah. But you're still thinking, oh, where's the income coming from? So, mm. you know, that's been low moments. But I feel those kind of low moments really allow you to appreciate the when you are in the role, when <laughs> yeah. you are getting appreciated and when... Yeah. When you feel that okay, things are moving in the right direction, and it then allows you to learn more about how to make sure that those low moments don't happen again, and making yeah. sure you know how soon to start setting up a backup option in a case. better average of yeah. experience rather than yeah. highs and lows. Exactly. Yeah. So. What about the um, so we talked about the challenges and the low points? What about the successes? So where has Mind Swan been, and where is it going to go? That kind of thing. Yeah, so we did um, hit our first client um, not not too long ago, a few Sweet. months ago. It was really nice. They had this um, online architectural firm mm -hmm. called Resi. They were very close to where I live, so it was like a five minute journey into the Always office. Helpful. Yeah, very helpful. Yes, definitely. Um, and yeah, it was it was really good to like work with them. Yeah at that first client, write a blog about it, you mm. know, know what they're doing, bring my experience, my past experience as to, um, you know, what, what I can bring to their services. They had a specific need of quality score and it was something yeah. that I had experience in fixing or tracking. I like working with this thing called AdWords scripts as mm. ways of like automating, you know, analysis and making sure you're on top of, you know, things that should be working in a moving in a, in a certain direction yeah. so um yeah that was like um a big thing we need to work on it was it was yeah quite a successful story with them and Great. really did help fix their quality score that and really helped improve their the efficiencies and their costs awesome yeah sweet all right so if there's someone that's watching that hasn't started their business yet or hasn't done the leap of faith and become a contractor in PPC or search engine optimization or, or the digital realm, mm. what would you say are the first kind of few things that the tips that you would give for those people? Planning, plan it well, um, but don't sit back, so don't sit on your backside just planning for days and weeks and months, <laughs> like, you <laughs> know, have a, have the plan of when you're going to start, you know, and give yourself that starting point. Mm. Even if you feel like everything isn't in place yet, you know, give yourself the deadline on when you plan on starting, when you plan on having that website live, yeah. when you plan on, you know, get to start to get your content together, when you plan on start starting to make those calls and sending those emails to people, you know, a lot of things you learn to perfect as you go along. You will not That's have it perfect. Yeah. The first time round. Iterative process to anything, isn't there? So you get the basic level of website together, yeah. and then like, okay, in two months' time, I'll add a case study. Yeah. And in three months' time, I'll add this and add to it. Yeah, the Remember? version of the first version of my website and what it is now. Oh God, I can't even. I can't even think. <laughs> I literally was absolutely over progress. 
is happening and every time it changes i just get excited and that's a way of actually even building content of telling people yeah. of like oh we've changed these check this out oh we've changed this check this out and let this us know what you think this whole documentation thing yeah. which is what i'm trying out to kind of share the stories and the ups and downs yeah. and uh, the successes as well of uh, yeah kicking it off great yeah. so planning would be step one yeah. what, what else would you throw in there um making sure that you put your, your, your network contacts together because mm -hmm. we can't do this on our own. As I said, even like the big yeah. successes, it was never a one man band. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, yeah, sure. You, I think a, a lot of people, which I, I get that, people, you can be precious about your idea mm -hmm. and you're like thinking, oh, I don't want this person to steal it. Or I don't want this person like, yeah. you know, to run away with it. But your t-shirt idea. Yeah. You know, I see such idea, t-shirt <laughs> idea even, you know, no one take that one. Um, you know, but, you're gonna need people, Hand, hands mm. down. You're gonna need people. Like, look, me and me and Dad working together. We're hustling, yeah. We're hustling here together, and it's 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 um. There's sometimes like this. There's one of my friends, Enoch, said that a very important thing is that sometimes it's even good to tell a lot of people because when a lot of people like no, it's mm. your unique idea. Yeah. No one else can copy it because if they try to copy it, they're like, wait a minute, I've heard of that idea before. Uh, that person uh, told me about it, so. This can't be your original idea. So, so it actually makes it. Exactly. Shout it from you. Yeah, you exactly. Yeah. You know, sometimes if you got something you tell everybody, let them know it's you so that mm. no one else can steal it, kind of thing. So, um, you know, yeah, get people at work, get, get ideas, talk through different options, you know, of how to do certain things. Mm. Um, and yeah, don't don't necessarily yeah just keep it just close to heart. And sometimes even talking with people, they'll help you refine the idea. You know, you might yeah. have like a little seed of it, and talking to someone else can help you kind of build it into actually what will actually be something more marketable. Mm. You know, to and you mentioned consumers. you have mentors as well. So were they kind of integral into that shaping and collaboration of that? Yes, hundred hundred percent. I mean, yeah. like some of my mentors have been natural, like you know, family family yeah. members. They they might driving force I literally Good. they're my driving force of mm. what I do in, in my in my head I just like if I have my family behind me I can do anything in this world it's, mm. it's a beautiful feeling um also had some like like few managers along the way who have really just believed in me and just seen something that even I have totally not seen like yeah. you know they've gone nice. I know you can do this I know I'm like really are you are you sure they're like yeah and because I have such great respect of or, you know yeah. of them if they say I can do it well of course, I must be able to do it. So <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. They, they will lie to me, you know. Um, so yeah, it's it's been you know people I've worked with, and it hasn't mattered the seniority. We're not even talking, you know, elderly people. We're talk, talking yeah. even people who are younger than me, and just mm. people like in different fields, um, that kind of thing. Um, I, I I like I just like pulling knowledge and and from anywhere I can find it, mm. you know. And and I and I think that's important. Don't. Don't be scared about another person's knowledge. You might seem a little bit yeah. intimidating. It's about Try to... the ego out the way. Yeah, and yeah. Ultimately, all these people have probably done something similar already. Mm. So you're like, what did you do and how did you do it? Yes, so how can you help me? <laughs> yeah, I've been asking lots of people about how they hired their first employee. Mm. And then I've got to done it kind of thing. Yeah, so you, you always, the step ahead, start asking people those questions. Yeah. Cool. So let's say we fast forward 10, 20, 30, 40, mm. 50 years. Where will Mind Swan be? That's an interesting question. I mean, because mm. I'd like, <sighs> I, I, I want my swan to be something still quite personable. Yeah. Um, I, I don't necessarily, I'm not even as I don't want it to be one of those huge, large, global, conglomerate kind of company. I want... The personal I, touch. Yeah, I the want whole, there to be a brilliant yeah. personal touch to Mind Swan. I want Mind Swan to be the kind of company where I know, the person as the person who started it, I still know everyone who's employed and I've had mm. a drink or coffee or something with them so that when, when they're getting sent out or they're going to meet clients, I know you know what i'm sending out i know yeah. like what's what the message they're sending that i know they're representing mind swan mm. properly and i want the clients to feel that if they've met any one of them they've met me yeah. as well you know and that that kind of so the character of you will yes. and the personality will be applied to the company definitely because yeah. i you know I, i've been told a lot and i do agree with this i've got a big character you mm. know i've got Loud personality, I you know I I feel like I, I 
I like attracting a certain kind of people, and mm. and I think it's important. You, need, I, I want, I want to also be even known by the kind of clients I I have and yeah. the kind of clients. I don't want to just take anyone who can give me enough money, you know, to mm. pay the bills. It's important the kind of people I'm going to be working with, the kind of clients that I want to work with, and you know, and I, I want us to be known for that. That. Mm. That's my swans don't right. just take anyone. We we are we are picky about our clients and our clients trust us. They're not they're not always fighting with us. It's not yeah. always a fight, you know. We mm. work well together and it's a two-way trust. And just even before pitching, being able to be the kind of company that, you know, they know what they're about to get before mm. we even enter the room, that kind of company. Yeah. yeah. I was listening to a podcast and um, it was a guy called Stephen Bartlett. So he runs a company called Social Chain up yeah. in Manchester. And he was asking a friend, uh, give me three words to describe social chain. And they would say these three words. Now, the friend also ran a business. Mm. And then Steve was asked, can you give me three words for my business? And he was like, you do good design. And that was it. And and that's the challenging thing. He found that he would ask someone else. And that other person gave exactly the same three words for social chain. Sadly, I can't remember what they were, but mm-hmm. um, but it is fascinating how the company does need an identity, yeah. does need its yeah. stamp and its values, uh, yeah. so then people identify you from the rest of them yeah. uh, with those qualities. Yeah. Cool. No. So finally, no. just to wrap it off, we'll bring in some of your expertise around pay-per-click. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell me kind of some of the biggest myths around what makes a successful PPC, or some of the things that people do, like, this makes it right, but it's like, no, it's not. It's actually this over here. Um, or oh, what the, the biggest thing that comes to mind is that people think that if we just throw money at it, it'll work. No, yeah. <laughs> people are like, big sure. budget, sequels, yeah, big success. Big success. Yeah. No, no, they have been, there are times I've told clients, they're like, oh yeah, we have extra 20 grand. And I was like, well, I can't spend it. Like, literally, yeah. I can't. Because there's a, a level of diminishing return that mm. happens yeah. with pay per click that, you know, because it's all about, we're always trying to measure on like on a target, usually of like return on investment or your cost per conversions or cost per lead yeah. that you're getting and sometimes when you start just putting more money yeah you need to spend a, a you know a certain mm. amount of money people EBC is quite expensive on companies big companies that do it well amongst the mix of all their different uh, marketing yeah. channels it yeah. counts for about 50 60 percent mm. of budget um, but every once in a while there'll be times where if, if, if they're like oh yeah no we want to make it 80 percent of budget no no that's that can that might not work and it, then just flatten yeah, it yeah it's just gonna flatten out you're just increasing your cost and you're not getting much return <laughs> in in <laughs> for it so yeah so the, the, yeah that's a big myth that you know let's just spend all the money and mm. it'll happen um, another second myth that I definitely must must mention is the fact that you know PPC does not work as a silo and you you've got it doesn't create demand you need all the different channels as well and that's why I say that it needs to work at, as about 50 60 percent of the marketing budget because you need to be yeah. doing other stuff yeah. that has created the demand you know and that's why you know we need to work well with like the big TV campaigns big mm. outdoor campaigns because once the people know that oh I can get that they now then are going to go to Google and then search for it yeah it's so, that awareness kind of item which is across yeah social or print or whatever you do yeah. or TV uh, for the men to get searching on those keywords mm. that you're targeting yeah so. exactly I've seen some really good campaigns where um, in those outdoor Cam- um, campaigns they've gone search for this and so they make sure that brand definitely then make sure they're bidding oh yeah ppc of it and that's yeah. i'm sure there's amazing cost efficiencies that's happening there because they've already told the people what they should the search for to you yeah. so that was is important I definitely guess. cool yeah. so just as we wrap off uh, do you want to tell everyone where you are on the internet where I'm on internet, I'm on mindswan.com, you know, check my website, I'm on all the social media, uh, mindswan PPC, so that's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, follow me, I'm always like trying to give tips, so, like right now I'm just trying to be a thought leader, you know, so that people know that I know my stuff, so you mm-hmm. know, so check out those those um, means of, yeah, contacting me, and if you're interested in what I've got to say and you'd like to do a one-on-one, check me out on hello, even send me an email, and hello at whiteswan.com. Sweet. So until next time, keep shining bright like a Ryland. Hey, you, you, should, love it. you should have a tag. I should, so not yet. Swanning. Keep 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 swan